Welcome to Notes from Above, the program that explores the intersection of music and faith. And I am your co-host, Deacon Tom Lowy. I'm Sister Sarah Burdick, and this is going to be a fun show. Actually, I think it's going to be a great show. I'm really looking forward to this. Do we say that all the time? Well, you know, it's good to say that. Right. You Let's know. have our seven listeners call in and no, tell No, no, there's more than seven. Ten. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow. We're back. Yeah, we're back, definitely. <laughs> yeah, actually, I missed you last week. Aww. I did. I missed you, too. I turned on the radio. This is funny. Okay. I turned on the radio, and I'm listening to this music, and I thought, I do not remember this song. I don't remember it at all. And now, this has happened before. Okay. Well, I'll turn something on. I'm like, I have no I don't think I was there. And then we come in, this is Deacon Tom Lowy, and this is Sister Sarah Burdick. But this time, I thought, I don't remember this, and uh-huh. it's because I wasn't there. Oh, oh, because of last week's last program. Last week, yeah. I wasn't there. Right, yeah, yeah. right. Well, I missed actually, you too. I, feature, I featured the music of, um, of so, American blues singers, mm. believe it or not, doing, doing uh, Christian music. So you did that while I was gone. That well, was, I had to go. And, I had to go. It was a good move. It's a sweet tooth on my part. That I had to go. And, good move. I had to satisfy that. No, that was yeah. good. Yeah. Well, listen. Um, um, we opened today with a, a terrific song. I, I love you know uh, this this piece of uh, praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation, and of course it brings us all back into into the church when we hear this. You Amen. know, it's like you know it's, it's what we sing when we take the collection. I think you know. No, well, I was taking a collection. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't get a dime. <laughs> Not a nickel. No. But. Uh, uh, But that being said, uh, it's one of the songs that is included in this brand new hymnal, and that's going to be our discussion today. There is a wonderful, and I and I am I'm saying some good things about this. This is a great hymnal. Uh, It's uh, it's put out uh, by Ignatius, and it's uh, called the Ignatius Pew Missal. And uh, to discuss this with us. Uh, is um, uh, Brendan Ford, who is the director of music at the St. Patrick's Seminary in Menlo Park, which is in the San, San Francisco Bay area, and he's calling us uh, from San Francisco Bay. Uh, he's a graduate of Ave Maria uh, University, and he also happens to be the project manager, or one of the project managers over at Ignatius Press. And so without further ado, huh? we'd like to uh, introduce uh, Brendan to our audience. Brendan, welcome to Notes from Above. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Now, um, this this was sent to me um, kind of out of the blue, kind of a, a cold. Um, it was just all of a sudden I, I received this book. And I'm going. This is really quite interesting. Um, uh, it's and it's when you when you hold something like this in your hands, you realize that this is not a book that happened. Um, just last week or something. I mean, this is something that's been in in uh, in the, the planning stages for a long time. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, just one quick correction, though. Um, yes. It's not just Ignatius Press that's uh, working on this. Oh, that's correct, yes. Ignatius huh? Press teamed up with uh, Lighthouse Catholic Media. Yes. In Sycamore, Illinois. Mm-hmm. And we're working on this project together. Um, Lighthouse um, is all over the country. I think they have about something like uh, 7,000 parishes that they're involved with around the country where they have their little kiosks uh, with uh, uh, materials for oh, right. evangeliz- evangelization. And they, along with us, we saw a need for uh, a, uh, a missalette that was a little simpler. Um, many parishes have uh, missalettes that are, that are very good, or hymnals that are very good, but they have, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs. And the trouble that a lot of parishes have is that they can't get their parishioners to sing at Mass. And I've been a music director since graduating Ave Maria and for the past... Uh, four or five years, I guess, and uh, I've seen that need as well. So what we decided to do is we decided to to make a a resource that was simple and also uh, followed the the, uh, musical directives of the church. And so um, that was kind of what we had in mind in doing this. And so um, we put out a survey to about a thousand parishes and sort of asked them what the needs were of their of their parishioners and of, of what the pastors thought were needed. And this is what we came up with. Well, it, is, it is really it's a fabulous book um uh you know when i look at it first of all i mean i, I it's it's well bound uh it, it sits flat in your hand it's very easy to it's use paperback. It, and it is a paperback which is which is also a nice thing uh it's it's written in uh, uh two separate inks you have a red ink as well as a black and and that help that's very helpful uh especially you know with things that have to do with rubrics or instructions and that type of thing it's very easy to follow um, the uh, there are uh, a number of prayers in this book for uh, the faithful to to um, to follow both in English and in Latin, which I think is uh, becoming increasingly more um, uh, uh, important and interesting to a lot of people. Um, there is a, a focus 
on not only the classic hymns of uh, of our church, but also um, a real attention to uh, chant and chant settings. And there's a number of, of uh, very lovely um, uh, uh, mass settings within the, the, the hymnal as well. Uh, Could I just interject sure. something? Because I'm, I'm trying to imagine, if I'm listening to this program and I'm trying to picture what this is, I think um, if you say... People can get it mixed up with: Is this a hymnal? Is this a missalette? Is this, you know, what is this exactly? Let's throw that so, at Brendan. Yeah. So, Brendan, if you could tell us, you know, it's called the Ignatius Pew Missal. So, could you tell us a little bit more about what that is and and what makes it different from other missalettes? Sure. Um, in general, when people talk about hymnals, um, they're usually talking about a book that is, in general, hard bound and doesn't actually have the readings, normally doesn't have the readings um, uh, for uh, the liturgical year. And if they do, um, they don't have it set to the particular dates of that particular year because it's meant to be used over the course of several years. So missalettes, um, just to name a few, uh, there's uh, Breaking Bread, um, uh, World Library Publications has uh, a, a few missalettes as well. Um, it, they are generally either quarterly or annually subscribed, so you'll get them either four times a year or one time a year, and um, you change them out throughout the year. And so for that reason, they actually have the particular dates for each Sunday of the liturgical year, um, you know, and, and there's always minor changes to, you know, the, the liturgical year. You know, some mm-hmm. years, uh, you know, the exaltation of the cross will occur on a Sunday, in which case um, that will have to be celebrated on that Sunday, and the 20-something Sunday uh, in ordinary time will have to be um, skipped. And so um, this helps people so that they can follow along every Sunday, and they just go to the particular page, they find the date, and they know exactly what the readings and the music is going to be for that particular Sunday. And so these are generally paperback, and um, they, uh, and again, they're, they're, uh, you replace them every year. Yeah, that's that's great. Now, also, um, uh, because, you know, I'll, I'll focus a little bit on the music, um, uh, if you are a subscriber to this, let's say you're a parish and you're looking for a new hymnal and a uh, new missal and, and something, and this, this fits the bill, which I think it will for a lot of people. Um, uh, what about the music directors? Do they, do, is there anything that is sent to them so that they can, you know, they have, they have the music in front of them, uh, you know, if there's four part or whatever that can be added to it. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you have anything that, that's uh, helpful in that regard? Yeah, we have uh, we have two books um, out, and they are uh, the uh, they're both uh, accompaniment, and they can also double as a as a sort of choir book. Um, they have all the the harmonies and and whatnot uh, for organists and uh, for choirs. So, um, and we have them in in spiral bound and perfect bound. And um, yeah, that's the first book is the Ordinaries and Hymns book, and so that has all the mass settings as well as the hymns mm-hmm. um, in, that you find in this. And the Pumissal. And then we have the Proper's book, um, the Pumissal Proper's book. And the Proper's book has all the entrance, communion, uh, antiphons, as well as the responsorial psalms and alleluias. Um, and those are that's also available, Smarrow Bound and uh, Perfect Bound. Excellent. Well, why don't we go uh, to some music here and, and listen to some things here. Um, this is from a mass that is found in the Ignatius Pew Missal. Um, and we're actually going to walk right through this a little bit. Um, uh, and I you sent uh, a, a, um, the sound files to me, and so we're going to play right off of that. We're going to go from the Kyrie to the Gloria to the Agnus Dei and so on. But um, um, can you tell us a little bit about this Mass that we're about ready to hear? We're gonna, I'm going to go in, and open with the Kyrie. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, composed by a composer named Healy Willen, who is the Director of Music at uh, St. Mary Magdalene Parish in uh, and, uh, uh, Toronto, in uh, Canada, and he was, he was a very prolific composer, and uh, there is a Healy Willen Society that is wow. uh, run by one of the canons at St. John Cantius Parish in Chicago, and um, uh, Father Scott Haynes um, is uh, a musician uh, who's also a, a priest, uh, one of the canons in that order at St. John Cantius, and I had emailed him and told him about this radio uh, show, and he made this recording just for us. Nice. Well, so, oh, nice. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Well, why don't we listen to it right now? This is, this is the Kyrie from a setting by Healy Willen.
have it. That's the Kyrie, or the, the Lord have mercy, which we hear at every Mass by uh, Healy Willen. And very nice, very easy to, to sing along and, and, and memorable at the same time. Uh, we're going to walk through some of his uh, of his composition for this Mass. Do you know what the name of this particular Mass is? Is it just called the, the Willen Mass? or? It's called the Misa de Santa Maria Magdalena. Oh, Saint boy. Mag Say that again. Mass of St. Mary Magdalene. There you go. Yeah, yeah. that's... <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. You know, if, if it's okay to go into something a little more practical here, sure. you know, I'm sure people might be thinking, oh, wow, a pew missile for the whole year. You don't have to switch it out four times a year. It's got the readings. You know, it's got chant. This sounds good. How much? <laughs> uh, how much? Let's talk money, yeah. It, it all depends on how many you order. If you order uh, at least 50, which most parishes will, it's uh, three ninety eight a copy. Wow. And, uh, That's a deal. It's pricing, uh, pricing's uh, beyond that. So. Yeah, and there's like about 500 pages on this thing, isn't there? I mean, it's a pretty massive uh, Yeah, I think set. it's 520 pages wow. this year. Yeah, <laughs> this year. <laughs> you got new plans for next already. Well, why don't we go into our next selection, though, because you know, we, we have to be careful with our time. Um, this is also from that same Mass, uh, the, the Mass of uh, St. Mary Magdalene, and this is uh, the Gloria. Uh, do you have a little bit of a setup or anything that you can explain about this, uh, something for people to listen to? No, just w just want to add that you know this is again this is sung being sung by uh, one of the choirs at St John Cantius, which okay. if anybody knows about it, it's, a, it's a fantastic parish, um, and they do a, they have a great music program there, so enjoy. Okay, very good. That is the uh, the Gloria, uh, written by a composer by the name of Healy Willen, and Saint John Cantius um, is the uh, the choir and a beautiful organ, by the way, lovely, lovely um, uh, recording. Um, I also think the setting is very elegant. And I think the Gloria is a very difficult piece to to actually compose for. 
uh, because there's so many sections that had to be done. And uh, to handle it in the way in which it has been done here for this particular mass is actually very, very good. I think I think it's uh, it's memorable, and I think it's also something that is um, um, uh, offers an opportunity for people to join in and sing. It's not an impossibility. You know what I'm saying? Often you, you hear okay. these uh, these comp <laughs> compositions you go, "Whoa, I can't do that." I can't do that. Yeah. So okay, now okay. I'm coming in again. All here right. I come. All right, Brendan. You know what else I love about this missile? I love the fact that it has a section in the back with common prayers. So, you know, say for example, you know, new evangelization, you want to take someone to mass with you and um, maybe they're a little, like they're, they'll say, maybe I don't know how to pray. And maybe they've heard of the Our Father before. You could introduce them to other prayers like the act of faith or the act of hope or prayer for a happy death or, I mean, Really, there's some great things in here. And now, I have a question for you, Brendan. Sure. Okay. Deacon Tom and I were talking about the Stations of the Cross that are in here, which are beautiful. Are these? Now, he told me that this is from Francis de Sales. Is that so. right? Uh, it's actually uh, St. Saint, Saint Alphonsus. Oh, so ah. Alphonsus for glory. Okay. Because okay. no. I told him he was going to win a car and a fridge and a mink and all that stuff, but... <laughs> okay, okay, I don't get it. You don't get it. it. You can have a car without the engine or tires, okay. but... <laughs> Wow, Saint Alphonsus Liguori. Okay, yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, okay. it's it's a nice setting for for the stations too. Oh, really? I like yeah, it. And it's you know it's it's pretty. I mean, it's probably the most common. I mean, the, people use all sorts of variations, but this this one is probably the one at least that I've seen at uh, most parishes that do stations of the cross. I don't know if you guys would agree with that, um, but it's um, it's a very nice setting, and it really really helps you to focus. Uh, yeah. Station. Yeah. No, I it, mean, it's nice. Well, here in the in this in this area, Detroit and uh, uh, and Lansing uh, and Saginaw, they actually are doing a different setting uh, for the stations, oh, which yeah. is yeah, Francis right. So sales? that's I, you yeah. want to throw me on that. Um, no, I'm not going to go and say okay. who it is because right. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, so I'm not going to go. I'm not that's so okay. bold as to go there. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, yeah, we do a different setting. So for us, it's it's actually kind of new, and and uh, I like it. You know, so. no, I like it too. I mean, I just love it because you know sometimes you have so many little books, like you have your missalette, and then you have your Stations of the Cross booklet, right. and then you have that booklet and this booklet, and then you have books yeah. everywhere, and you can't keep track of it all. But there it is, all in one book. Yep. All in one. Exactly book. the idea. It was wow. Exactly the idea. You know, keep the keep the minimize the amount of books that pastors will have to need and have to put out. We love that. That's great. Well, now let's. You know, we were just listening to that beautiful Gloria, and uh, I'm really enjoying this a lot here. I, I think we should probably just walk right into our Agnus Day because I think this one also, um, you know, this is such an important prayer that uh, or, that is sung. Uh, and such an important part of the Mass. Um, um, why don't we just go right directly into it, and, and then on the other side we'll talk a little bit more with Brendan Ford, who is the uh, the project manager over at Ignatius Press and also director of music at St. Patrick Seminary in Menlo Park. <laughs>
we have it. That's the, the uh, Agnus Dei, the, the Lamb of God, from a, a Mass uh, written by Healy Willen, and uh, it's uh, the Mass of uh, St. Mary uh, Magdalene, uh, from a, a new uh, Missal, the Ignatius Pew Missal, and we are talking with uh, Brendan Ford, who was uh, instrumental in, in uh, uh, developing this and bringing it to uh, uh, to our attention. Wonderful, wonderful Missal, and we're very pleased to, to be able to go and, and uh, uh, talk about it here on Notes from Above. Um, I, I like this one very much too. Um, uh, it's a very prayerful, contemplative, and, and um, I think it brings our, uh, you know, our hearts into um, uh, that, this portion of the mass. Uh, you know, where um, we we uh, are, are ready to receive uh, our Lord. So it's a great, great uh, composition and very nicely done. Mm -hmm. And also something that uh, you, I think would be something that you could teach your your if you were a music director could teach your uh, congregation pretty pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Brendan, we also noticed that you're a graduate from Ave Maria University. Um, that's always of, of real interest here because Ave Maria University actually started here in the Ann Arbor area. I don't know if you were involved in it while it was here or not, uh, but no, uh, not. yeah. But uh, now, now tell us about that experience too. Oh, it was a, it was a great experience. Um, I uh, actually transferred from um, from a school out here in California, and um, you know uh, uh, I. Really made some some great friends there, and they they have a an excellent music program. Good um, <laughs> that uh, over there, uh, and their focus on the program is uh, sacred music. And uh, so it was there that I learned all about the church's patrimony of sacred music, um, and learned a bit about Gregorian chant, and actually took a class on it. And um, really, it was there I I, I had uh, an appreciation for music before. I had played piano since I was about twelve. Uh, but it was really there that I, I, I fell in love with the church's um, music and um, really uh, uh, became uh, inspired to, to promote it. Excellent. Excellent. That's very good. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to go and uh, um, bring ourselves to the to the end of the first half of Notes from Above, but I think I have to go and give out some pretty important information because I think people are listening to this music and they're hearing the discussion and they're probably interested in finding out how they might be able to get a copy of it. Um, can you give us some information on that one, Brendan? Yeah, the best thing to do, the easiest thing to do, is just to go to pewmissile.com, and there's a section there where you can uh, you can uh, order your uh, your uh, pew missile for next year, um, and uh, it's just right at the top of the website. Um, you can also find out more information. There's frequently asked questions. There's some sample pages. There's some uh, sample recordings. Um, all sorts of information right there, and on the website too. If if you're a, say you're a music director and you know you want to you want to get this, but you're going to need a little bit of help planning um, how to, you know, planning what music to put, to put in, uh, in this mass. Because, you know, we have the antiphons but, uh, and the responsorial psalms, which are pretty much, you do that every week. But we also have about 180 hymns. And so it's, sometimes it's hard to pick those hymns. Well, on the top right corner, there's a, a link that says liturgical planning guide. You go right mm -hmm. there and you could, uh, every, every single week of the liturgical year is right there. And um, I help you out and how to... Uh, which, which hymns to pick according to the readings. And, uh, yeah, it's a good resource for music directors. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, let's close the first half, but don't turn the dial because we've got more to, more to listen to and more to discuss uh, with uh, Brendan Ford. But the, um, uh, we're going to go and close the first uh, uh, half of uh, Notes from Above with the Sanctus from the, uh, the Mass of St. Mary Magdalene uh, by the composer Healy Willen. Let's go and give this a listen, and, uh, and we'll be right back. 